Yo, Dan from danwagner.co with a quick tutorial on the Excel status bar, which is simple enough to create and use with just a few VBA lines, but is useful enough to cover every single progress bar situation I've experienced in my Excel VBA career. But enough preamble, let's, uh, let's walk through the code. What we have here is a public subroutine, very, very simple, trivial little task. It adds the last name Smith to every first name here in this students column. We have 1,000 students, which means we go down to row 1,001. And finally, what we're going to do is write the full name, write the first name and the Smith last name into column B. I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, this could be done with an Excel formula. And yes, you're totally right. But I want to get super focused on this particular line where we're going to start manipulating Excel's status bar in a way that will be super helpful to folks who are using your long running macro. So I've got breakpoints dropped in place here to help highlight certain situations. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click play one time and you can see that the status bar has since been updated. So let's talk about what's showing up down here in Excel's status bar space. So it says processing row two. Uh, we know row two is the long index variable, which is essentially just a counter from two all the way up to 1001, the last row. We know the last row is 1001 because we just set it up here, but it could be figured out dynamically if we needed to. And finally, by using the format function and the variables that we have in place, we can get kind of clever and display to our user what percentage complete we're at. So we divide the counter variable by the last row variable, right, by the maximum, and then we display that information as a percentage, and we drop that just right into our big string concatenation here for the application.statusbar value. And so as I click play through a few more times, you'll see the long index continues to increment. You'll see eventually that our percentage changes from 0 to 1% as we would expect. And the values are getting populated in column B. Everything looks pretty smooth. So let's get rid of this breakpoint and click play to go through the entire loop which you can see happening right now. It's very noticeable, very easy for your user to interpret, and awesome. Okay, so we stopped here at application.statusbar equals false. Now this is kind of interesting. If we didn't have this line in place and we just let the macro finish, the status bar would be stuck reading processing row 1001 of 1001 100% complete. Now, that's not the worst thing in the world, but the folks who are using your macro might be kind of annoyed by this. You should definitely set the status bar back to what it would regularly be in a non-manipulated status, which, uh, which would read ready. And so by setting application.statusbar equal to false, we're going to set it back to ready. Sweet. And with that, our macro is done. Our column has last names appended to it. And more important than anything, we were able to implement the same functionality that a progress bar implements without having to write hundreds of lines of code and designing a user form.